Okay, so just yesterday, I did a cam installation on this 5.3 uh, Monte Carlo SS, and today what I'm be working on is installing the OBD ports into the uh, interior of the car. I have the port here. I went ahead and pulled the computer out because the most important thing to run this OBD port is the class uh, two serial data line. That is the most important wire. That's basically the connection between the PCM and the OBD port. Well, it is the connection, that is the main wire. So let me show you the four main wires you need. This is the port, focus. Purple is your data. You've got the two black wires. They're both gonna be grounds. And then your orange is constant power. That's all it is to it. Uh, constant power, two grounds, and your purple is the data. Very, very simple. And to find uh, where the data wire goes to the PCM, depending on what year, and whatnot your uh, LS computer is out of. Uh, it's gonna be a different color wire. It's It can be purple, like this plug came out of a different car. The purple wire is gonna actually be purple all the way to the ECM on pin 58. But this ECM might actually be older, but it is the same location. It's gonna be the blue, blue connector or a uh, plug two. This is C2, also known as a blue connector. And it's gonna be plug number 58. They all, they're all individually numbered, and I don't know if you can actually make that out right there, but that is 58, it's gonna be this green wire. This is gonna be the serial data wire. So I need to actually, uh, I'm not sure where this wire goes in this swap. This isn't my car, it's actually a buddy's car I'm working on. I'm not sure where this wire goes in all this mess, but I need to basically cut and run wire from there to the, wherever I'm gonna decide it. Well, I still gotta throw out those valve springs. Wherever I'm gonna have the OBD port, I need to run this wire to the interior of the car. Okay, so like I was saying, this green wire coming off of pin 58, this is my data wire. So I'm just getting it nice and straight. I'm gonna clean up the edge and basically get it. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is getting ready to solder these uh, wires together. The uh, customer supplied me a big old spool of this wire. It is pretty thick. It's probably a lot thicker than it needs to be, but it's what I got to work with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use it. This is the way I like to solder. I just get two clean ends of wire, twist them together, solder them up and slide the heat shrink over them. Um, need a way to kind of hold it in place. Yeah, that should be good enough. I got this cheapy cordless uh, soldering iron from O'Reilly. Never used it before. It's gonna be interesting to see if it gets hot enough to, uh, to be any good. Let's see. Yep, it's hot. <laughs> Let's give it a little bit. It just takes four AA batteries. So that soldering iron was so unbelievably terrible. I think I'm gonna be better off just burning solder onto there with the lighter. I really wish I had my torch right now, but it's at work. Hopefully I can manage with, uh, with just a freaking lighter. <laughs> it actually worked really good. Wow. I'm gonna roll it and do the other side. I went all the way through, front and back. Nice. Yeah, don't ever get one of, uh, yeah, don't ever buy one of these from the parts stores. This one specifically came from O'Reilly. Biggest waste of money, it was like 20 bucks. It doesn't even get hot enough to melt the solder. They're better off using a freaking pocket lighter to, to solder, just the heads up. All right, just got back uh, tucking in the computer. It's just sitting here in the fender. Uh, 
ran this green wire to the green wire on pin 58 on connector 2 which is the uh, the one with the blue uh, plastic caps so I ran this on the uh, just through here to the booster we kind of followed followed some other wires that are already here went through the firewall this is basically the only wire that comes from the engine bay I still got to clean it up and there is like a whole mess of wires over here but this, this is the data wire this green wire here uh, let's see, I soldered it right here. It goes to the back of the OBD plug that I just zip-tied to this harness. Yeah, it's got like an alarm module and I'm not sure what that is. It has a whole lot of stuff. So basically, remember these two grounds I showed you earlier? I connected them into one connector and I spliced it into this, this ground here. And uh, this orange wire needs to be a constant power. And I found this red wire going straight to the fuse, bl uh, fuse block. So I went ahead and spliced it into this constant 12 volt. So that's all there is to it. You got your constant, got your grounds, your data wire going to the pin 58 on the computer. And that's it. You have a working OBD port and you'll be able to access uh, the PCM and a, you know, HP tuners or whatever you're going to, you know, whatever your plans are to use this OBD port, you can use it now.